All right, James Houston is uh, listed as a potential breakout star for the Detroit Lions by Pro Football Focus. Let's talk about. I think some people tend to forget that he on, he kind of you know kind of hanging around there too, man, and you know jumped off the screen last year when we had a lot of injuries, Kaminsky, and you know so on. Charles Harris from your court before he came back and he did the damn thing and now he has an opportunity to break out, especially if they're able to get somebody on the inside. The defensive line, him and Aiden Hutchinson, got a huge opportunity to really bust out and break out. But James Houston tab is Lions breakout player by Pro Football Focus. It took a little time for James Houston to show what he could do as Detroit Lions rookie in 2022. Once he got his chance, chance the six-round pass rusher from Jackson State made the most of his opportunity for, for his outstanding finish in his rookie campaign. Houston earned the Lions nod. And pro Football Focus is the breakout uh, player candidate for 2023. Pro Football Focus designated one player from every team. And for Detroit, it's Houston. It's profile, prolific, excuse me, pass rush productivity in the final seven games were amongst NFL best in the time frame. Over the last seven weeks of the season, he produced a pressure on 18.5% of his pass rush snaps, eighth among 121 qualifying edge defenders. It says ex exploration, those uh, – Numbers over the full season, it's easy to see why pro football foresees big things from Houston in the second season in Detroit. So, obviously, you know, I think people can hone in a little bit on what he did. So, it's going to be good to see, you know, if he can get a counter move going there. Um, you know, if he can get a counter move going. Uh, and I think he can get a counter move going and, and do some things. But then again, you can't just focus on James Houston either. You got to worry about – uh you know, the waves of def defensive ends, Aiden Hutchinson. So it's going to be hard for them, especially if they finally get somebody, some consistent play on the inside. If it's from Ani Zorki, if it's from Josh Pascal or somebody else, you know, they're going to have to uh, – you ain't going to be able to key in on one guy, you know. So that's the good thing about it. So James Houston might be the beneficiary of other, you know, good talent across the defensive line on – um Detroit Lions. So, you know, then also when you got waves of guys coming in, Kaminsky, Harris, Romeo Cor, Aiden Hutchinson, Josh Pascal, et cetera. So they always, you know, should, you know, keep a fresh, you know, fresh people in. So he might, he might be, he just might be as dominant. You know, he might be bet more dominant because they'd be able to rotate people in. But then again, then it's opportunity too. So is he just going to be in, uh, you know, Pass rush opportunities. Can he stop the run? You know, so we'll see if he could take a bigger, you know, role on. If he went in camp, you could probably see one of them, one of them dudes cutting Romeo or Charles Harris. You know, um, you know, you know. So, but uh, but but like I said before, yeah, he in a good spot, especially to get paid pretty soon too. He in a real good spot. In a real good spot. Real good spot. So we have to we have to wait and see. But uh, but yeah, I think that's a good candidate. I mean, I mean, I think you can see, uh, you know, honest rookie stay healthy. Josh Pascal stay healthy. They could be breakout candidates as well too. Should Kaminsky get enough time? He can be a breakout candidate. Real talk. You know, real talk. So they got a couple guys that they don't have an opportunity. I mean, another one, Josh Reynolds, if he can stay healthy, they don't add another receiver. He another guy that, that can be another breakout, uh, another breakout candidate um, you know, for Detroit Lions. So they got a couple guys that can do it. You know, they got a very young football team. Very young. So I think it's going to get very, very interesting to see who that guy is. But James Houston, a good pick amongst a few other good picks. You know, why can Ana Zork, can Ana Zorky give you something? You know, come back healthy. I don't think anybody banking on it, but, hey, you never know. But Houston in a good spot, man. I mean, you got, you know, a couple older guys in front of you and Charles Harris and Romeo Core, and who knows if Romeo is going to make a full recovery. Who knows if they're going to stay healthy? He may be able to snatch a starting spot in there. But then, you know, questions going to rise. Can he play the run? Can he do more than pass rush? Right, can he drop in coverage? So it's going to be it's going to be for him to continue to add to his game. 
That's what's going to be about. Can he continue to add to his game? That's going to be the million-dollar question. Can he continue to add to his game? And if he can, the more things he can do out there, the more he's going to stay out there. But I think he was, I think he was a really, really um, – I think he was a really pleasant, pleasant surprise. And, you know, Brown Holmes seemed to have a good eye for talent, for diamond in the rubs. But can he, can he follow it up? Can he follow it up? That's the million-dollar question. Can he follow it up? It's like an artist with a great – or a group with a great – there ain't really groups going around no more, especially in hip-hop. It's like a group with a great, a great single, you know? Can you follow it up with another great single? Can you follow it up with another great album? You know? So, so that's the that's the number one that's the number one question. That's the number one question. So um uh, I think he's a good pick, but I think uh I think that uh I think that uh I also think, you know, got some other guys like Reynolds and Josh Harris and etc. So I think you I think you got great I think you got great you know great opportunities in there. Got people great out but James Houston dude, he got an opportunity to cash in, dude, pretty soon. So you gotta remember that he got an opportunity. So hopefully he continue to work hard and he got a chance to beat those beat them veterans out too. Because the Lions won't have no problem cutting the fuck out their ass and going with the young guys. They will have no problem. They'd be saving them money. Real talk. They'd be saving them a bunch of money. Saving them a bunch of money. But, yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Chris Chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash up. Dollar sign. CJ Good. 313. Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash at Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.